they say opposites attract. And when it comes to their love of art, for Gisborne couple Jason Cortis and Holly Thomas, it could not be more true. Known by the name Room, Cortis's photography encourages the viewer to think about a single image. But abstract artist Thomas's pieces demand involvement and imagination. The couple say the different styles complement each other nicely. We've always made work together. We've always kind of asked each other for advice on our work as well. Like, how does this look? What do you think about this? You know, can you help me with this? Um, it, it gets quite tense sometimes if you know <laughs> if you don't like what the other person's done or they don't like what you've done. But we've worked a way of. Um, being able to have a conversation um, without getting too offended by <laughs> each other's preferences. Often their works are hung side by side at art shows. So I think it works beautifully next to each other is when people come around to have a look. They'll either look at mine and walk straight past because it's a black photo on a black frame on a black wall and then they can either stop and rest what I class as resting, looking at Holly's work, because there's so much going on. So I think they work beautifully. Or, other way around, uh, they'll walk past Holly's work and stop at mine, because it's so different from what's going on right next to me. Both Thomas and Cortis are from artistic families, and it was family that drew them to Gisborne from Wellington. I've got two brothers and one brother is a photographer and my other brother lives in London and he's an illustrator and artist himself so we've all got really creative side to us I guess. We've asked our parents a lot, you know, who's the creative one and, and, and they argue and say it's not them but somehow all three of us ended up doing really arty things so someone in there has got the, the artistic creative gene. We came up for family, Holly's little brother is a photographer here in Gisborne. Yeah, wanted to get a little bit closer. So Holly applied for a job and got that role. And we, at that stage, I was a firefighter in Wellington and there's no roles up here in Gisborne. And I just happened to make a phone call and talk to the right person. And about two weeks later, I got a phone call going, would you like to come up? So everything worked out perfectly. And we've been here for five years now. Jason uses his work to help bring awareness and create conversations. I work as a firefighter, is my other job, and we deal with a lot of homeless. I wanted to talk about it and I didn't know how to talk about it, so I started photographing with my props. I was trying to talk about homelessness in a way, so I was, I've been, I've taken chairs outside and lamps um, and other things, and I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to bring homelessness into everyday people's houses in a nice way. Cordis has been part of the fire service since 1996. He also spent three years in the army. He's been stationed in Palmerston North, Wellington, Tauranga and now Gisborne. Every brigade is different. There's different needs um, depending on the amount of people that are looking after them. Um, Wellington, there was say 200 firefighters on at any one time. There was a lot more alarms going off in big buildings. So we're, racing across town all day. So here there's a lot more emphasis on the community helping people. So there's unfortunately there's a lot more house fires here in Gisborne. Um, there is a lot of CPRs, a lot more unfortunately suicides. And it's a really fulfilling job. It's humbling for the things you're called to do. As for Thomas, she works in HR at the Gisborne District Council. Previously, she worked at the Learning Connection, a tertiary art school in Wellington, where she and Jason attended while studying. I was a classic um, high school art student. I spent a lot of time in the art studio, art history and photography. And then when I finished high school, I did uh, visual communication and graphic design. Then when I moved to Wellington, I got involved with a tertiary art school down there, the Learning Connection. I worked there for a long period of time as well after I finished my studies. So um, I've always been you know, really heavily involved in the art scene, I guess. Holly's involvement with teaching continues through tutoring online students in art and creativity. While the couple share a passion for art, sharing a studio, 
can sometimes be tricky. Holly hates it. <laughs> I am a mess. Uh, I'm, I, I destroy our studio. And it's not until I've left again that Holly then clears space so she can start painting again and creating work. So it's challenging, but if we hadn't moved to Gisborne, we would never have a studio like this. This is what I class as epic. Jason started taking photographs while in the army. What started as a hobby has seen his photos nominated in the Top 10 People's Choice Awards at New Zealand Art Shows six times. He was the winner of the People's Choice Award in 2018 and runner-up at this year's show. Sometimes his perception is different from the judges. At the Wellington Art Show there was a piece of work I, as you dress your wall at the start and I dressed it and there's this one photograph there and the colour didn't work with the rest of the wall. I was going, ah, oh, I wasn't overly excited about it in that situation. So I'd taken it off the wall and as it worked out, at that art show there's um, some judges who wander around the show and there's thousands of works there. And they picked this image as one of the top 10 images of the art show. And it was really well received by everyone else, but for me it wasn't my favourite work. Holly's exhibitions have faced a number of delays due to COVID, but are now finally able to go ahead. Just had a show up in Melbourne, which was the first time I've ever shown work offshore. Um, so that was a really exciting opportunity, a uh, space called Five Walls in um, Footscray in Melbourne. So I was part of an artist's group collective um, showing some work over there. Both of them hope to one day turn art from a pastime into full time. I'd like to think I was unfortunately out of the fire service uh, and creating art with my partner full time, that would be amazing. Scale will be something that will change for me hopefully in the next five years and, and when my work goes. A greater sense of balance between work life, play life, art life, family life um, would be really great. So we'll see how we go. <laughs> and Gisborne could be the perfect launching pad for their burgeoning careers. We're quite understated I think in Gisborne sometimes about how much talent and um, creativity there is here so a lot of people are, are working away in studios at home or making things. It's exciting. The art scene is amazing like Gisborne couldn't be a better location for art. We're lucky with uh, the mouldy artworks absolutely everywhere around us. Jason and Holly are currently creating body of work for the 2023 New Zealand Art Shows. Renee Lola here, Local Focus.